What's up everybody, NFX here with another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about quantize and groove templates. With quantize and groove templates, what you can do is basically take uh, some notes that you've entered and then apply this template um, that will shift the notes into a certain position to give you uh, a specific timing of those notes. And to demonstrate, the first thing I want to do is let me just go to a new pattern and let me bring that into view. And I basically have a uh, just a lot a uh, sound font for a, for a kit in here. I'm going to record myself playing just a, a hi hat pattern to start off with, and we'll and we'll just go from there. So I'm going to hit record, and then I'm going to start recording the uh, the hi hat pattern. And one thing you're going to notice is I'm not going to play it perfectly. Here we go. Okay, so I just played like a simple pattern. If we go in and inspect this pattern, I'm going to put my half step on so you can see the, the grid lines here. And I'm basically zoomed in as much as possible. But what I want you to look at is how my notes, like for example this note right here, how it's not really aligned to the line right here. It's slightly off, which means I hit that beat a little bit late. And sometimes you might see like this note, if you can see on the video, it's just to the to the left of the line, which means I hit that note a little bit early. This note looks like it's maybe on the line or a little bit late. This note's a little bit late. This note's a little bit early. This note here, you can see it's like halfway. Uh, the line goes right through the middle, so that's really early. Or I guess you could say it's really late if it was going to be aligned up with this line, but you can see that I definitely didn't play this part perfectly. And uh, if I play the pattern back again now, just playing what I recorded, you can hear, especially in those first few hits, it's not really in time. Okay, that's pretty clear. Well, what Quantize does is it fixes that problem. So if I bring up the Quantize dialog, uh, you can see these red lines appear, and now it, it's kind of shifted and done some things to my to my note data. Let me let me close this now. Look again. Now watch these notes. They're going to all shift into into a certain space, and some of them are going to grow as well. So boom. Now if I play it right now, I can preview it by hitting the space bar. Now it's in time. So that's how I fix my mistakes. Now with the quantizer you can do things like set how much you want it to, to adjust. Like you, you can see I hear I'm, I'm going to twi twiddle this, uh, this start time button and you can see my start times are going are gonna to move. See they're going to shift around. The more I set this, the more precise it's going to be. If I wanted like uh, a few little errors here and there, I just tick this down a notch. And that will give me uh, you know, a pattern that's mostly in time, but with slight, slight errors so that it maybe sounds more human, um, you know, as opposed to just a computer playing it. The other thing you can do is you can tell it to quantize the duration here. Uh, if you notice, all my notes became the same exact size. If I turn this and say uh, leave the duration, then my notes go back to their original size. Now when you're doing drum beats, it probably doesn't matter uh, if you have it quantize the duration. But when you're playing notes, it, it does matter. So half the time you're probably want to just say leave duration. But anyway, so that's what that does. You can say leave the leave the duration, leave the end time, uh, quantize the duration, or quantize the end time. And what the quantize end time does is it'll basically slide the ending time towards the closest red line. Now, in this particular pattern, uh, this is the default quantize, and you can see where these red lines are, how these red lines are aligned. And uh, I'm going to quantize the duration just for the sake of example here. Uh, but what you, what I could do is I could click on this folder, and now 
there's a whole bunch of other uh, types of quantization I can use. So I can, I can, for example, say, uh, give me a, uh, uh, let's see, um, a pushing groove, let's say one. And uh, let me go back to default so you can just see these red lines. Now, when I go to pushing groove one, watch what the red lines do. Boom, they kind of move around. Some become wider, some become narrower. And if I select that and then play it, Now you can hear it's got a whole different groove to it. It's kind of got a dun 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 dun. dun. You know, it's kind of got this swing groove to it. And if I go back to my default, you know, it doesn't have that same swing to it. So I can set, I can basically set this, you know, to give me what I need if I'm not, you know, able to play it. This is a, an easy way. Or if I'm going for a swing type of groove, well, then I can do that too. Um, it's not a problem. Now, when you assign it, it pretty much locks it into whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and, let's say, do the pushing groove again. And I'm going to say uh, just OK. And what one thing that it did is is it not only modified my, my timing, it modified my velocities too to help give it that you know, to help give it that pushing groove feel to it. So quantize can be pretty powerful uh, when, you, when you start using it. Now in this case, I'm just showing you the hi-hat because it's just easier to demonstrate it with, with one particular sound. But let's go to a, a full beat. And uh, here I have um, a drum beat. That wasn't a drum beat, that was a cymbal, but in this uh, piano roll I have a drum beat and it's already been quantized to the default. And uh, I'll just give you a, t a flavor of how it sounds. It's got no swing in it whatsoever. Um, and I can't really put swing on it using this, this uh, swing parameter because right here because this only works for whatever's in the uh, step sequencer and my notes here are in the piano roll but what I can do again just like I showed you with just the hi-hat part is I can quantize this thing and now it's already it remembers your last uh, setting so here it's going to use the pushing groove again or I can go pick an another one um, you know, just to see what, what they sound like. Uh, but what I like to do sometimes uh, for, for a good swing is maybe go here to my MPC folder. And in here, all these, uh, all these MPC uh, values that you have, that I have here, were actually taken from a real MPC. And uh, so I can quantize exactly the same way. And uh, in this case, the value, the note values are low. So I'm going to just up those a little bit like that. But now I'm quantized exactly like an MPC would be at uh, whatever value it was that I just picked. And you can hear the swing on the uh, kicks and on the uh, hats. It's going dun 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 dun. It's got that that swing to it now. So now I've taken that drum beat that was just straight default quantize, and I've put some swing in it, some MPC groove to it, and now I've got so you know so you can you can do that. Um, the MPC templates groove templates are going to be up on my site. Uh, after this video uh, gets recorded and uploaded. Right now it's up there only for uh, VIPs, but I'm going to make it public uh, with the release of this video. So look for it in the downloads. Um, and for those that you, of you who don't know, it's www.warbeats.com, just in case you're watching this video somewhat from somewhere else. So those are pretty much all the ways that you can use them. Uh, but I'm going to show you now how to create them. There's two basic ways of creating them. Uh, one is uh, 
to create them from your own data. Uh, for example, if I bring this in and we go into uh, this pattern here, uh, you can see that I've, I've, I've laid down a, uh, a hi-hat pattern. Um, and I actually quantized this hi-hat pattern to uh, the default. But you see there's gaps in here. It's not just a straight uh, straight sixteenths or anything like that. So there's some gaps. So there there is a groove to this. If we listen to it, you know, you can hear that that it has a certain rhythm to it. Now what I want to do is I want to take that rhythm and apply it to a, a full drum beat. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is while I'm here in the piano roll, I'm going to click up here and I'm going to say File save score as. Now by default when I save a score I'm going to be in this folder called scores. But if you look there's some subfolders in here one of them being quantization. So I'm going to go in there and then I'm going to give this thing a name and uh, let's say the name I'm going to give it is hi-hat groove. I mean it's not really that much of a groove but for demonstration you'll get the point. Okay, so now when I go to my drum beat, which is here, uh, I'm going to apply that hi that hi hat groove template that I just made. So if we listen to this drum beat, and while we're listening to it, I'm going to apply the other uh, the groove template, and you're going to hear how it's going to change. Okay, here we go. So, hopefully you were able to hear that. It changed, you know, I wouldn't say dramatically, but it changed enough to where, like, the, uh, you know, the, the snares sound like they're coming in a little bit earlier. You can see that there's gaps now, like here in this column, there's no note, whereas before there was. Here in this column, there's no note. It's pretty much mirroring that same hat pattern. And uh, let me just undo the quantize, and you'll see everything go back to its original place. Boom. So here you can see, for example, there's some note data right here, and you know, it's all pretty much standard uh, eighths uh, going on. Actually, these, these are sixteenths going on here. Um, but when I apply that groove template, you'll see everything kind of switch and get into their position based off that template. So let me go back, pick hi-hat groove. I'll get that off the screen just so you can see when the red lines change. Here goes hi-hat groove. Boom. So you could see, like right here, this line pretty much disappeared. This line disappeared, and now things are shifted and and moved around. Okay, so that was how I created my own based off that hi hat uh, data. Very easy, right? But you can also create based off of some audio data. In other words, you have a loop that you that you like and it has a certain groove to it and you want to recapture that groove well you can do that and uh, the way you would do that is uh, let's say for example uh, I have a maraca pattern or a maraca loop and it sounds like this okay that's that's the loop and That's actually it stretched. So that's the speed at my tempo right now. It's okay, now let's say I have that, but I want to apply that to some other instrument or some, uh, not even an instrument, just another drum sound. Uh, the way I would do that is I would take a slicer, uh, a fruity slicer, and I would drop that loop in there. And what it's done, as you can see, it's located where all the hits are and it's chopped it into a certain way and if I go into my piano roll data for it there it is 
Okay, so there you can hear the pattern. Now what I can do is I can save this, and I can say save score as, and then you know do the same thing I did before. In this case, I'm going to call it maracas, and hit save, and it's, it's already existed because I run through this before, and uh, now I have that that particular um, template saved. Now when I go here into my drums, if I lay down sixteenths. Okay, so there's sixteenths, and I'm going to apply that maraca, and then you can hear that they're playing simultaneously. So there's my hat, there's my maracas, and my maraca loop. So I've taken this audio, remember this is not uh, FL Studio data or Piano Roll data, this is audio. Using the Fruity Slicer, I was able to get the note data, the lengths and what whatnot from it. Using that, I was then able to create my own template, which I was able to then apply to my hi-hat pattern. And, uh, you know, it's a few steps to, to get to that point. But uh, it's worth it if you have a groove that you really, really like. Now, in this case, you know, I'm using just a simple maraca pattern. But you can, you can actually build it off more complex things. For example, you might take a drum loop like that, right? There it is. So uh, it's in there. Um, if we go in here, now you can see the slicer has made new piano roll data out of it. I'm going to save this and save score as. I'm going to call it beat 2 because I already have a beat 1 in there. I'm going to close that. Then I'm going to go back into my, uh, just my where my hi-hat is. Okay, so I've painted some straight 16ths on that hat. Now if I go in and uh, tell it to uh, quantize it to beat 2, it's going to, it's going to change it a little bit. And uh, you can see now what it's done is it's mostly the same, but then here it, it, it changed it. But that's going to give me a different groove. So it's da 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 You know, there's like just that little difference in there. That's the groove. That's what it is. You can build these off of anything. Here's another groove. Okay, so we go back here. Uh, say... Uh, File, save score as, I'll call it beat 3, hit save, let's go back into my, uh, let's go back in here, I'm going to quantize it based off beat 3, and now you can see I've got another groove in there. Okay, and, uh, and like I say, it's, it's, pretty much limitless. All I need to do is find a, a groove that I like. There's an interesting one. Let's try that. Like this old school beat. Let's go in here. Let's drop it into the chopper. There it's chopped. Uh, go in here. We'll save it. Save score as, and we'll call it beat four. Hit save. Let's go back to our hi hat pattern. Quantize it according to beat four. And there it is. Now it's quantized with the beat. And there you have it. You can see it's really easy. Again, it's limitless. Um, not everything's going to sound good naturally, but uh, but you know that's part of the fun is experimenting and then finding that thing that does work that no one else has because you know how to do it 
and they don't. So anyway, there's groove templates. Um, use them, abuse them, have fun with them. If you come across some, some good ones, send them to me. And in the meantime, I will catch you guys in the next tutorial.